right, we're here again. Um, what me and Aaron have just done, we've just had a little gab about what happened last time. Um, Aaron did a great job, didn't you? Getting out of the estate and out on the so-called proper roads, not just a nursery area, so that was really good. Um, your decision was to come back here and have a little practice first, which I get totally and totally understand, so that's why we've come back here, but I think we should try and yeah. get out on these roads a little more. Yeah, 100%. All right. Um, is there anything with roundabouts that you feel as though you wish for me to maybe explain or even get my iPad out and explain? Or? Not really. I've only gone left around a roundabout, so I haven't actually had to do that. Okay. Um, all right. If, if you're going ahead at the roundabout. Um, do you think we did the mini roundabouts? Yeah. Yeah, we did a, yeah. a left. It's just um, slowing down, isn't it? Making it is. Making sure it's ready. Honestly, you've just hit the nail on the head for us, Aaron. It is. It's all down to the slowing down that um, that creates the time. Now, I explain things like this to people in the week, <coughs> and, I, and I came up with this. I don't know what hairs on my dashboard. It's not mine, obviously. Um, I came, <laughs> you skin my body head. Right. I came up with this in the week, and sometimes I do this, Aaron. I explain things in a particular way, and people seem to just get it. And I said this to someone, I said, well, hang on a minute, if we're here and we're getting to there, if you approach at this speed, you've only got this time to do it. But what if you approach at this speed? You're going slower. Look at the time that you've got. Yeah. To do other things. And that, for that particular person, seemed to make a big difference. So maybe keep an eye on that. Um, Use your pedals not just as a switch again, just as light at the start and increase, increase, increase. And the same goes with the gas. Yeah. I'm, honestly, I'm forever telling you to get going a little yeah. bit. So I want to change clutch so I reason I slow down. Not a problem, all right? It's not a problem. Um, we, we can't get everything instantly, but the improvement has been pretty big. Do you feel as though we just go off and have a little practice yeah. and then just get stuck in? Yes, I do. Good. Um, all right, before we start any engine, why is it important to check that the car's in neutral? I don't know. Some cars will allow you to start when they're in gear. Good. This one will, but the clutch has to be down. If you're in gear and your clutch is not pressed, it has drive going forward, so when you turn it on, it will jump forward. Okay. That's it. Okay. Just a little reminder, that's all Aaron. Okay. Um, do you feel okay starting your car? Good. Super duper. Now, we're misting up on the windows a little touch. You can relax your clutch now, don't forget. So we're misting up on this front window a little. Do you know how to demist the window, which is the front, which is the rear? That one. Fab. Excellent. And look what happens to the fan. It blows really quickly and then turn that down. Probably two is good. I think that's fine. Um, we said last time, I think it was about the wind, or was it the time before? I don't know. It was know. last it week. Was last week, yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, is there anything sort of like environmentally, like wind, hint, hint, that could be an issue today? We've actually discussed it getting out of the car that people didn't hear. The sun. So, Honestly, when you're looking in your mirrors, when the sun's behind you, it's a little more awkward, okay? So you might have to take a little more time in making your decisions. Is it raining? Um, it might just be the spray from the lorry that came past. Okay. It's a good question. Well done for watching. So just um, take a little bit more care with your decisions. Don't react yeah. harshly whatsoever. And here's another thing as well. If the sun's behind us and we've got a car in front, we might not be as visible. Yeah, so like if they come there, the sun's facing them. So honestly, there may be little situations that we have to appreciate like that with the yeah. sun. And why is it more awkward in the winter? What, for the sun? Yes. Tonight. Where's the sun in the sky in the winter compared to the summer? Before it was in the sky both times. It is in the sky both times. It's obviously always in the sky. But where is it positioned in the sky in the summer compared to the winter? I feel like I should really know this. Yeah, considering you're going to be a teacher. <laughs> yeah. Pass this on to your class in the new year, Erin. Um, the sun is much, much higher in the sky in the summer. Oh, okay. And it's lower in the winter. Okay. 
Okay, so that's where um, these sun visors come into play. I'm actually going to quickly just get my sunglasses out just before we start, so I'm all prepped and I'm all ready. Right, Aaron, feel ready to go? Yes. Okay. I'm going to leave you to it. I don't need to give you any help with this, do I? You always forget one thing right at the start of every lesson. A handbrake. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that is on. Yeah, okay, super. Wait, where do you check before you... Yeah, come on, get thinking. Switch on straight from the off. Nice job, Aaron. Glasses very well. How much pressure are you use? Oh, oh my goodness! It's all right. Just fix it. Work out what you did. Work out <laughs> what I did. So, put your handbrake on. Over. So, cool. What did I do wrong? Try and work it out. What pedal are you over? Was I on the brake? You were. <laughs> so, what should you hear before you move off? Gas. You should. <laughs> So sorry for letting you burn. Wait, why did it move forward a bit though? Because you were only lightly pressing the brake and the power, <laughs> or the pulling power of this diesel engine um, still allowed you to move. Oh my goodness. All right, so you need power before you go. Um, sorry for just letting you burn. Will you remember that from now on? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. What an idiot. Don't worry. Now, how do you get the car started again? Uh, if it's stalled and it's in first gear... Do you take it out? You can, or you can just press your button again and press it again. <laughs> Sorted. Right with that? Good, so we're all ready. <laughs> Compose yourself, calm yourself, it's not an issue. Oh, funny. It's not an issue. What are you going to do with this vehicle Wait. behind? I agree. Well done. Again. How long has it been since we checked the blind spot? Good. Nice job. What do you do with your pedal? How much pressure? Oh, so you can hear it, can't you? Okay. Right, nice and relaxed with your hands, Aaron. Now, that's in fourth. Clutch down. Okay. Now, Did it again. You do that quite a bit. I do. And we're going to go back over in a minute. The palming method, press it to the side. Do you need to go over it then, or am I right just leaving it with you? I do know what I'm doing, but I just don't do it. Okay, so do you need to palm anyway for the next gear? No, just first to second. Isn't it? Second to third. Second to third. Yeah, we're going faster. Do you just need to change gear over? Now. Listen to it. So, with this corner up ahead, you've checked behind you nicely, well done. Lightest little break, bit of brake you can remember. And increase pressure if required. If not, keep it there. Have a listen to your engine. Will it need a lower gear? No, yes. What do you think? Yeah. That's fourth, because you didn't palm across yes. to my side. Hold on, what do you do with your feet now? Accelerate yeah, good. On. Hold on. Ooh. You drive. How much of pressure of the gas do you need now? About here, and then well, you speed need a bit more. Up. You need oh. a bit more, to be fair. It's not so bad, is it? You alright with that? Yeah. Okay, well done. Good. So, this is not the palm. This is hand in that neutral on top position. Just change gear a little earlier, Erin. To second. The so next one. Put your hand on it. There you go. Don't try and remember what you're in. Just okay. change to the next one. Just yeah. Alright. Oh, you know, did a perfect job. He's just uh, zigzagging in and out from the curb. Come on, we've all been there, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. Should I slow down? Do you think you need to, yeah? No. It's not so bad, is it? Now, up at the end, we're going to head round to the right. So this is a one-way street, so what lane should we need to do or to use? Okay, have a look in your mirrors. What's the taxi going to do? Go ahead of us. Signal right then, Erin. Are we good to go? The taxi's staying behind. Yeah. Go across to the right lane. Keep the gas going. Keep the gas going, Erin. Keep it going. 
Now, gently brake. Listen. Clutch down. What gear are you going to pick? First. Second. It's not that sharp. Clutch back up. Off the brake. And just stay round your right curb. Tight to your right curb. Into the right lane. Good job. Now, how much pressure with the gas? Sorry. How much pressure with the gas? I need to go. I need how much to go. pressure with the gas, Erin? Pull it down. Up. Okay. Sorry, that's what I was trying to Good. do. I know. All right. But watch around. Now, yeah. we're not overtaking anyone. We're going to come back to the left safely. Safely. Don't move. You're moving. Erin, oh. don't move. Check first. Yes, yeah, it does. Glide across. So try not to look and steer at the same time. All right? Yeah. Listen to that engine. Have a little stop shortly. Not yet, because there's double yellow lines all the way down here, but we'll have a little stop shortly and have a little think about a couple of things that's gone on. Alright, the lane change, remember with the taxi behind, um, I asked you what they were doing, you said coming past, but they actually weren't, were they? I thought he was close he was going to. What position would he have been in if he was coming past you? Would he have stayed directly behind you? No, he would have been a little to the left. Do you understand? To the right, but I know what you mean. Yeah, okay, so he was going to go right, he would have... Gone right? Yeah. Not to the left, but that's yeah. fine, I know what you meant. Keep everything going, we don't need to slow yet. Go on, Aaron, you're slowing down, you don't need to. You need a little bit more pressure. If you hear it slow, you need to change your foot. And it was only because it was uphill that that caught you a little, all right? Still with the corner, what do you need to do with your pressure? Slow down a little bit. How are you going to do that? Break a little bit. Good. Have a listen. Clutch down. Break a little more if needed. Clutch down, do you think? Do you want to go for a low one? Well done with the gear. Now what do you do with your feet? Well done, great. How much pressure now? Gas. How much? A bit more. Good. How much? Light at the start and increase a little. Good. Well done. Great job. We're going to park somewhere on the left, please, Aaron. Do we need to tell anyone? No, but Why are you going anyway. faster? You're going faster? You're going faster? What should we do with the speed? Don't go close to the curb yet. Brake more, Aaron. Brake more. Clutch down. Relax, brake. Relax. In. Good. Straighten up. Is there a car behind now? Should we tell them what we're doing? Nice job. Now you're not quite straight. Better. Done. Good. Secure your car up. All right, relax. Not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, you are quite calm today, quite chilled. So that's pretty good. That's a good little start. Um, you can leave the car on just for a little moment, we're not going to be long. Um, the taxi wasn't overtaking. Okay. If you slow down, what might the taxi then do? Go into us. No chance. Okay. Knowing the world, someone just following you, if you slightly <laughs> back off the gas, is just going to go, oh, crash. <laughs> what um, was the taxi's other option if we're slowing down? What might he do? Go past us. Correct. What lane were we trying to get to? The right lane. Which lane was he going to overtake us? The left lane. Really? We were in the left. Oh, the right lane. So if you were going to slow down there, you were potentially going to cause your own problem of making the taxi overtake. And then go to slow down in front of us. That makes a lot of uh, sense. Not necessarily slow down in front of us, but if you're here and the taxi's here and we yeah. want a lane change and you slow down loads, what's this taxi going to do? Move around you. And then you've got no lane change to do. Okay. I, I was thinking more like he would do right turn first and I'd have to like wait. But he's behind you. Yeah, but if I did like slow down and let me take. But why? I wouldn't. You, you don't need to. Do you understand? So when you're doing a lane change, try not to slow down to look. Look and see what's going on and try and change what you're doing to suit. Okay. The other little point um, was when you were, went round the corner, you were trying to pull this from here. <laughs> it was already down. It just needed a little pull down, yeah. that was all. Yeah. Okay. But when you did the lane change, this is the important thing. How did you go about doing the lane change? I and we just, moved back to the left. Yeah. You actually looked and steered at the same time. Yes, which you should do. You should look then and steer. Okay. And it's sort of like I always give people the analogy of crossing roads. If you were crossing the road, how would you do it? Would you walk, then look? 
What would you do? Look. That's why we... Stop looking, listen. Uh, sort of. But that's why we apply mirror signal manoeuvre. And the signals, honestly, if it's required, it's not a must. But it's definitely mirror first to see what's going on. Yeah. And then you decide on what's going on. It's all about change in speed driving. And people don't get that. They just keep at the same speed and just steer around stuff. Mm -hmm. Last little thing. How was your braking when you came into park? Can't remember. Um, still not slow enough. At the no, beginning. you just, again, just put your foot on the pedal and just left it there and started to steer in. You have to be progressive with these feet, all right? It's this progressiveness with your feet that's gonna change your car's speed to suit what you need to do. So keep it in mind. Don't worry if you get any little thing, not absolutely spot on, I don't expect you to. But we do expect improvement, mm -hmm. yeah, to work on these little things. Are you okay with the Palmer method now, leaving that one with you? Yeah. That way, for first and second, you know that, you remembered it, didn't even have to talk to you about it, all right? Um, that's good. Do you feel okay going out onto a road and having a little go at a roundabout and then another roundabout a little bit further up? Yeah? Go on, yeah. off we go. I'm going to take this next road on the left, please, Erin. Okie dokie. This is already on. Stupid question. Just go for it, basically. Absolutely, yeah. Well done. It's not a stupid question. Any question's a good question. Is it worth looking yet, though, Erin? No. You're not prepared. I'm not prepared. Now you're prepared, yeah. it's worth looking. And when should the blind spot be in relation to your movement? When I'm about to take off my handbrake. Mm -hmm. Are you ready to go? Okay. Good, ready to go? Yeah. Well done, nice shot. That was excellent. Next road on the left. Well done. So in theory here you could get away without a signal because there's oh. no one there. I'd like you to put one on though. Alright, okay. now the van's here, yeah. What pressure do we need with the feet, Aaron? More. Are you doing more then? Yeah. You're not, really. Now you are a little, that's better. Now relax. Good job. Well done. Second gear. Well done with your pressure, very good. We'll move your sun visor back a little. You were amazing there, well done, good, it was nice and smooth. So here's the roundabout, keep it going for a bit. We're going to turn left, Aaron. If cars come from the right, we're going to slow down, so it's the brake that's the key. Okay. okay, so we're going to turn left, so what's our routine? Hold on. Mirror. Which other mirror? Don't forget this one. This one. Now, just down. cover your brake, don't use it okay. unless you need to. Look round to the left as well. Steer round left. We need to brake more now for this car. Clutch down, brake more, more. But you just use it to the floor. First gear now. Gas and bite and creep. Do we need to go or do we need to slow? What should we do with we the pressures? Go. What should we do with the pressures then? You're just keeping your feet still, Aaron. Change your feet. Change your feet. You're not, you're not, now you are. You have to move your feet. Yes. Second. But now don't rush. Good job, well done. What should you do with your pressures now? Speed up. Increase, 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 increase. Relax. Next gear. Relax. You're holding that right hand too low. Good. Well done, Eric. Well done. Just smooth the gear changes out. Okay. How do you smooth it out? Like, what, 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 You're just lifting it. Okay, smooth to go up. At the roundabout, we're going to turn left again. Same process, so how many mirrors? Which one did you miss last time? Left Drifting one. a bit. You're still going faster as well, Aaron. Use your brake. Come on, Aaron, use your brake. A little bit more pressure. A bit more pressure. A bit more. A bit more. Clutch down, keep pressure. Now, less pressure. What gear? Second. At first, because the white car, we don't know where it's going to go. Steer around this corner a bit. Do you know where the white one and the bus are going? Now, set the gas. Where's the bus going? Is there anyone after the bus? No. Therefore, we can go. Squeeze your gas pressure. Now, the signal has clicked off, so squeeze your gas pressure, Aaron. Squeeze your gas pressure. Squeeze your gas. Now, left signal. Look around the corner. Good job. Well listened. You did well. And we're quickly going to park in on the left before the road gets too fast. So, just bring us in closely. Keep rolling. Gas and a little bit of bite, Aaron. Gas and a little bit of bite. Gas and a little bit of bite. Creep. Creep, creep, creep. Look up, look up, clutch down. Gently brake and just stop a little second. Good. We're in a safe spot, we're not going to stop long. Put your handbrake on. 
Take it out of gear. Relax your feet. Good. Um, use your gas a little bit more. Okay. Okay. There's certain times where risk is quite high on the roundabout where I'm saying squeeze your pedal more and you're not. You're just keeping it still. That'll do us because we're on a 40 limit. We shouldn't really park on a fast okay. road like this. All right. Let's get going. Can I just ask a quick question? What did I? Because I was slowly breaking to come in to park here yeah. and you told me to put gas and bike. Why? Because you'd ran out of momentum. Okay. And we're slightly uphill. Okay. You needed to let it roll for longer. Okay. Good question. Let's get working on it. That's fine. Good. Well done. What about the car behind now? I'm gonna wait. Okay. Is it clear after them? Yep. Well done. Go on then. The right signal on for the red car, everyone. What should we do with the pressure? Speed up. Are you? Yes. You weren't though, you're more interested in taking your signal off. Yes. You have to work your feet a little bit more real time. But well done, good. Nice little start. What are the dangers on parking on a faster road like this, Erin? I'm not actually sure. Just the speed of the cars, to be honest. What are we gonna do with our speed? Speed up. Yeah. So that's why, if you noticed, I got you to park quite near to the start of the road where cars weren't going to be travelling as fast. Here, you're drifting a little bit, Erin. Erin, Erin, don't stare at the cars. Erin, relax, relax. All you're doing is keeping your foot still. You're not changing your foot and you're just steering. Listen to your engine. Listen to your engine. Relax your hands, Erin. You must relax, all right? Just to 40. Relax. So, going on a faster road and parking in, people are catching you at a faster rate. So honestly, generally, stick to parking on 30s. There are other times where you can park on faster limits. However, it can be dangerous, really dangerous, all right? Now we're slowing. You've got fourth and now you've slowed, Aaron. Why are you so slowing? Listen to it. Listen to it. But you've slowed. You've gone from 40 in third gear to 35 in fourth. The higher gears require more of a pressure, don't forget. All right? Okay. That's good. Well done. Just try not to rush. Okay. Change your foot to suit the road. If it's clear, we can go. If it's a problem, we slow did that down. that speed up then because we were going downhill? Correct, it did. And your foot stayed the same. What should you be doing with your pressures and feet now? Slowing down. Off the pedals. You don't Off have to... Yes, you don't have to keep pressing it, Aaron. Oh. You don't have to keep pressing the pedal. You can just back off and it'll slow. Roundabout, we're going to go ahead. Check your mirror. Use your brake lightly. Now start increasing brake pressure for me. Increase. Smooth though, it's too harsh. Yes. Clutch down, keep braking. Less pressure, less pressure. Put a second gear. It's clear. Off we go. No one's coming this way. Straight ahead. Yes. Go round over here. Round over here. Round over here. Steer. 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 Good. Signal left. Try not to grab the wheel to signal, Erin. You try and hold the wheel to put your signal on. It's impossible. Relax. How much pressure? When should we get third? After I've gone around this corner. Chill then. You're still going faster. You don't need to. Relax the pressure a bit. Now get third. You just keep your foot still. You have to adapt it. You have to change it to suit. Just because you can't get the gear doesn't mean you've got to keep accelerating. Make sense? Change it to what we're doing. Good though. Well done. Now, corner up ahead. Slow Who's down. behind? Man. What should we do with our pressure? Slow down. Listen as we're slowing. Gear no, doesn't need it. You're going really close in, Erin. Where should you be looking? Around. You weren't. You were looking right down over the bonnet. Around. What pressure's now? Gas. You cannot tell what to do looking over no, the floor. I was looking at the floor. I know, and it ruins it. Yeah? Good. What should we do with our pressure for our road up there. Good. Now, relax the pressure a bit to now get, sorry, I'm just avoiding the big pothole, that's all. Can you get fourth now? Well done. Now, do we need to slow down? You'll need more pressure in the higher gears as well, Erin. 
than Sam. Okay, what, more foot pressure? Yeah, because okay. they're not as powerful. Okay. What should we do with the pressure now? Slow down. Off. Lightest little bit of brake we can. A bit more. Good. Clutch down, put it in third. All right, second's fine. Ooh. Don't just it's launch fine. it out of gear, Erin, all right? Now, clutch back up and you're grabbing. Can't grab with your hands. Off the brake, you don't need that much. You have to be relaxed with it, okay? Clutch down, gentle and smooth, a little more pressure, a little more brake. You're not, a little more, now that's too much. First gear now, good. Go back to gas and bite and off we go smoothly. Steer out to the right, Aaron. Accelerate, use your gas pressure. You're not, you're not, you're not squeezing, now you are. Second gear now before the corner. Well done. Keep the gas pressed and look to your right window. Keep the gas pressed and look to your right window and steer. Keep the gas squeezed, Aaron, because, yeah, you're just a little bit slow. We don't want to be caught in the middle and cause problems. You're going towards the kerb. Look up. Try not to steer away from the vans and the lorries. Yeah. Good. So, you don't need to go this way. You're going this way. You're going this way. Aaron, try not to look at the vans. Look where you want to go. Come on. Third. Relaxed. Off we go. Now what pressure? Is anyone overtaking? Yeah. So don't go any faster. Less pressure. Now is anyone overtaking? Now are we able to go faster? Start changing your feet to suit the road. That's better. Well done. Good. Now, we're going to take the next road on the left just where the 30 signs are. What should we do with all of this? First Slow thing down. always, Slow down. mirrors, come on. Do we tell people? I'm gonna tell people anyway. Good. Listen. Clutch down. How much brake? What gear for this sharpness? What gear? Two. Yes, good. Clutch back up, off the brake, go, drive. Well done, where do we look? That all was right. a good turn, well done. Where do your eyes go to now? Straight up. Good, they do. And accelerate. Excellent. Sure. Don't have to worry. If it comes yeah. out in front of us, that's different. Okay. If it, Good. I have to wait for him, or do we, we had the right way there? We had right away. Okay. Listen to that engine. It's way yep. too long with those gears. Find the time to change gear a little earlier, Erin. Okay. Yeah? Okay. And when you start accelerating, what if you don't need to keep accelerating? What do you do with your foot? It's simple. Take it off. Just relax a little. Yeah. Your foot doesn't have to stay in the same position once you've squeezed it. What road limit are we on? It's a 30, you're fine. Okay. All right, just concentrate on the footwork that we're talking about and, and working your car's speed to suit, all right? Good. Nice work. Now, how sharp is this corner? Not overly. Okay, so where should you be trying to look? Around there. Good. You don't need to steer away from the bus, Aaron. Stay looking up in your lane, you're steering away from the bus. Instantly you do it. Now you're going towards it. Do you look at them as they come past you? No. No? Okay. No, Try not to look at the floor look. and look at the angles of yeah. the curbs. Try and look up into the road. Now, why is the car slowed? Because, I don't know. Because you've kept your foot the same and we're going uphill. Okay. Uphill, you have more. to you have to change your foot to the sound. You have to listen to it. Now we're coming up to roadworks and the road narrows. What do you think you should be doing? Breaking a little bit. Good. We're going to turn right at these lights, please, Aaron. So, is there a side road first? Who's behind us? How close are we? Not very well. Okay. Signal anyway. Good. What do you do with the brake? Clutch down. Not too harsh. Smoother. Keep near the centre line. Now squeeze a little more pressure down the hill. Good. Relax a little. Put it in first as we're relaxing and just rolling up. Good, lovely, that's better. A little more brake. Come to a stop. Carry on again. Off we go. Gas and bite. Clutch down a little bit. Cover your brake. I'm just talking you through it, it's not a problem. Clutch down a little bit, cover your brake. Steer a little to the right now. And if there's no more oncoming cars, we can go. Good, gas and bite. Squeeze your gas. Squeeze your gas, Aaron. I need you to. Left lane of the two. Good job. Well listened. Very good. God, that wasn't actually that scary. That's fourth. You must relax your hands and your
you've stayed away from those cars again. You've got to relax, Erin. Off the gas, so cover right. your brake, stay straight, clutch down again, less brake pressure, and put us into first gear as we're rolling in. Now you're listening to the brake, it's getting loads better already. Brake a little more pressure, off the brake, drive. Don't rush. Good. What should we do with the gas pressure? More gas. Good. Second now. It's a better time for it. More gas. Increase. You're not. Get that. Now you are. Go on. Increase. Increase. Now relax. Now third. Better. That's oh. first gear, Erin. You must relax your hands. It ruins. Off the brake. Off the brake, Erin. Gas, clutch up. Gas? Gas. The red light. I know, we're just a bit okay. slow, that's all. Use your brake a little bit now. Clutch down. Brake a little more. Now, not too much. Smooth. Brake a little more. Put it in first. Well done. Nice job. Handbrake on. Swap your right foot to the gas, and off we go. Release your handbrake again. Don't rush, Erin. You've chucked your handbrake off. Down is off. Don't rush. What pressure now? Gas. Are we? Good. Well, listen, you don't need to steer this way, and that's way too long again, Erin. Erin, it's way too long for those gear changes. Okay. That wasn't that smooth, was it? Third. You have to adjust your feet. Your feet cannot just press and push and then go for the gear. It can't be like that. You have to adapt them and we're going towards the curb again. It's really close to that curb. No, you should be oh. going faster. Off the gas, Erin. You must change your feet. All your foot does is just pushes and you leave it there. And then you I just steer. That's just putting more pressure because we're going to go up in. However, we're going faster and you were breaking the speed limit. Now you're going okay. slower. Now you're going slower. Listen to your engine, Erin, and change your foot. All your foot's doing is just pushing in one spot and leaving there. It can't. It must change. Good, but listen to it to decide on how much it needs to change. That's good, you did really well, great. Try not to look at your speedo too much, try and listen. And we're going close to this side again. Try not to look at those oncoming cars or the white line error. It's really important. Look up into your lane, look far. There's a roundabout coming up, what should we do with pressure? Take it off. Who's so. behind us first, always mirrors first. Nobody. That brake's fine, that's great. Now we keep braking, we're gonna turn left. Signal. Signal left. Should There's break, oncoming cars. Clutch down, good. Well done. Break a little more then for the cars. Break a bit more. Put it in first as we're rolling up. Now, is there any cars? What should we do with the brake? We should accelerate. Good. And where should we look? To the left. Go on then. Don't rush with the pedal yet. Not yet. Undo your hands. Now, what should we do with the pedal? Second. Sooner. Lovely. Honestly, credit to you there. Very well done. We're still too close though. I'm battling with you constantly, Erin, to get your position correct rather than you just taking it from me and looking up the road. Come on, leave me alone with that. You do it. You don't have to steer left away from this car. Have a look in your right mirror at the room we have. So you don't have to go this way because of that car, but you're taking your position from your white line because you're really close to it. Okay. Your position needs to be taken from the left. Okay. Well done, good. Nice job. Excellent work. You don't have to be heading left, Erin. Look further, all the time. Roundabout coming up, we're gonna turn right. I'm gonna help you a lot again. First thing is always how close people are. Good. Lightest brake you can is great for now. That's fine, no more. Less pressure a bit, in fact. Clutch down. Keep braking, it's very sharp. So we're gonna put it in first, keep braking. Good, now we give way to the right. Less brake, relax it. What should we do? Stir. Is it clear? Yes. Go forward and go around the roundabout. Don't turn oh. yet. Go forward and go around that there. There, steer. Steer now. Steer now. Work your feet, Erin. Good, look up. Undo your steer. Come on. Go on. Now what pressure? Good job. Did well. And did well with that. Well done. Cracker. Good. How can 
almost slowing. It's a corner. How far round the corner can you see? You're steering towards, yeah. yeah. Relax, Erin, you're way too harsh with all your movements. Okay. Smoother. You're going towards this side, Erin. Less gas, look further up, less gas. You're so tense, relax. Look far. Now, what pressure with what pedal? Gas. How much? A lot. A lot because a lot it's quite Flat. clear. Good, Flat. well done. Well, listen, I agree. That's first gear, Erin. You must relax your hands. It's impossible with your hands, the pressure that you hold that wheel and that gear stick. You don't need to go here. Just keep looking far, trust yourself. Good, lovely. Now, what should we do with the pressure now? Less pressure. I agree. Don't go this way. Well done. Nice. Good work, Aaron. You're still tend to do the steering too much. You do too much movement. Light little inputs. Good job. Well done. What's that sign mean? Good work. Which one? This next one. Yeah. Double bend. Now, okay. listen to your engine. What could that do with? Gear change. Got it. Good. Done. Drive. Well done. I'm going to take that same road on the left that we did last time. Keep this going. This is the one, right. isn't it? All right. Check your mirrors. Let's put a left signal on. Good. Now, come off the gas. Look far. Clutch down. Steer right a little bit more. Into first. Brake a little now. Little now. Brake a little. Off the brake now. First, relax, gas and bite. Look round, look round, not forward. Look round, because you're looking forward, off the gas a bit, off the gas a bit. Stay, stay, move your hands more. As soon as you grab, it goes pear shaped. But a better attempt than last time. Gonna give you a little chill out, Eric. Good job. Good. Well done. Now, we're gonna take the second road on the right, the one that we took again last time. So You're all right. Well done. What should we do with the feet? Do we need to go a little slower for this corner? How sharp is it? Yeah, quite. Oh. How much brake? Too much. What gear? First. What position on the road are we in? Why are you turning now, Erin? Where should you be? You should be here. And you should be going round that white line. You just stare over the bonnet, look far now and do your steering. Don't go fast yet, don't go fast yet. Do your steering. Now you can go a little faster. Well done, good. Leave the gear, no. Feet error, not hands. Now hands. Good. Which side are you going towards? Do you want to yet? Should we go to the left? Straight on, Straight on. carry on. Carry on. Well done. Actually, get a park where we did last time. On the left. On the left, just past this first silver cone. We need to tell anyone, not really. You should brake lightly. Clutch down. Now, relax the pressure until we roll next to this grass. Lovely. Brake a little more, though. You're going still in. You're still going in. Relax the pressure, else we'll stop too soon. Up to this road, you see. Up to this driveway. Good. Secure your car. Wicked. Relax. Now, that was pretty good effort. You can turn your car off a little second. We haven't finished by any stretch yet. And three presses, please, Aaron. Thank you, one more. Fab. Well done. The route that we took there, it was quite difficult because we didn't give you enough time to park in. All the roads were either too fast or yellowed lined or something like that, so we couldn't park in. All right, so we had to keep on going. However, there are big sections of that which are big improved or big improvements and even from last time what was that corner like that you you didn't suggested? actually have to touch the wheel for me to go around it so a big step forward again what bits have you found out from driving on the roads that i have to keep on getting involved with i keep going to this side good but i just I'm not doing it like, I'm not even, I don't even know I'm doing it, it's just I'm happening up on my ugly. And I'm going to show you why, I think I have slightly before. Um, I'm going to quickly show you why. Now the, there might be a fair bit that I'm going to explain here because we've been driving for, really for too long. Could have done with parking in a little bit sooner. However, what I'm going to do is um, 
can even see that. Yeah. Okay. Sound right, sorted. I'm going to show you a photo. Now, this is... When you said, sorry, Go on. when you said you should be judging it from the left, what yeah. do you mean? I'm going to show you now. Okay. Now, what this is, it's a picture out over our bonnet. I've seen that many a times. Sorry. So you have seen this before. We've shown you before. <laughs> I was being sarcastic, so it was left. Have you seen this? Oh, oh, sorry, over the bonnet. I get you. And this is what people do. As you're driving down the road, your attention is with the right-hand side of the road all the time because you're fixated, as we've proved with the red lorry on the other lesson, and even vehicles that we've seen there, you're fixated with them and you steer away from them. Because you're fixated with that right-hand side, you look down here at this angle of the white line. And because it's the perspective of how we see things, you always think that because of this angle of this line, you're always going towards it, so you always steer... Away. Does that make sense? Yeah. If you just stare down over the bonnet at this side, though, that's exactly the same. It would go towards that way, because it's going like that. So you look at this line, and you go, ah, and steer left. Then you look down at the curve and go, ah, and steer right, and you zigzag down the road. <laughs> Do I actually? Yes. <laughs> All the time. OK. And learners always do. OK. Because they're not used to looking up the road. But that's something that I've tried to instill, but it's still not there. It's there when it's quiet, which is understandable, isn't it? So a lot of that drive, it was overrun by me trying to get you to look in the correct direction. And quite simply, you look up where the lorry is. Mm -hmm. Can you see that? Because if you look up, up here, you will actually see whether your car's moving from one side to the other. So that is spent up or taken up a lot of my time on that drive. And we, we haven't been able to do much because you have been poor at that on that drive. So that's one thing that needs addressing and fixing. Does that make sense? Your footwork, how's that gone? All right. It's gone better, all right. However, you still, unfortunately, just use your pedal either on we're off a lot of the time. That's the, the gas one more, I reckon. Yeah. Okay. Sound. Seems surprise surprising to you when I said come off the gas. You don't need to press it. Yeah. You don't. What's the car going to do if you just come off the gas? Slow down. Is that helpful when you're coming into problems? Yeah. You don't have to go gas to the brake to the gas to the brake to the gas to the brake. Sometimes. In a lot of situations, you just check behind you and come off. Reduce speed. What did I talk to you about before? That? Or this? Do you understand? And that's the other thing that that drive I've had to spend a lot of time managing. Because you're not. But I know you can do it. I don't expect you to do all of that. I'm there to help manage when I have to, all right? But because of the foot being either pressed or not, you're staring down at the floor and, honestly, your hands being as grippy as they are, that drive was quite manic. Do you really think it should have been like that with the skills that you actually have, and not your instinct? but with the skills that we've worked hard on, could that drive have been different? It could have been massively different, that, couldn't it? But don't ever worry, I'm there to help. But there's one thing that you need to remember. When I tell you to come off the brake, you must. It's the only thing I can't stop you doing. 
all right and there are certain situations not that we had any there but there are certain situations where if you're jumping on the brakes you might be hit from behind all right so that's the only thing that you must when I say come off the brake you must do okay so if you felt as though that that drive was a little bit manic it was but there was a big control element that I had to exert and what can you do on this next little bit to try and help that manic feeling disappear look up look far okay what are you going to do with your hands relax them would you like a pair of sunglasses Aaron? that's okay thank you are you sure relax your hands look far and don't use your feet just like an on or an off switch remember this Okay. The roundabout up near the Pear Tree Pub was fab. What was that? We did a sharp left turn. Oh the yeah. Pub on the left, and there's a petrol station on the right. I know the one. That was boss. The right turn at the mini roundabout was also good. Is that when we went down to that little like slip bridge? Is it? Um, no, the the one that was sharp. I actually straightened you up. Okay. That one. Because you turned too early, as you just proved with the last junction. Yeah. You look at I'm the not front. Not lining my car up. Right no, me. you're not. Where do you do your turn? Ha when that's there. So, don't be hacked off with yourself. But honestly, all of that stuff that we've had issues with, it's stuff that you can do, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but singularly. Now when we're out on the road, we try and put them together, and it's way more difficult. What have your mirror checks been like? Okay. That to remind you a lot. I said, what's the first thing we do? And you're saying, break. Uh, no, we need to check behind her. Okay. How close people are determines on when we would start okay. braking or when we would start signalling. So, there's a lot to remember. I get that. 100% get that. All right, however, just remember, these things singularly you can do. If you take your time a little bit more, you'll sort it. You'll sort more of them. But I saw a, a, a change and an improvement from the start of that section that we did towards the end as well. So well done. You all right with that? Yeah. Now that's a lot of information. There's a few other bits as well. Um, I'm go on. not going to go on too, too much. <laughs> Careful of this. Yeah. Okay. You can go and put it into third gear or first gear when you need third. It's going to slow down really quick without brake lights coming on, Aaron. Um, not to mention it might damage an engine as well. So um, relax your hands. You know how to do these. If I sat here and got you through the Palmer method now, you would do every single one, wouldn't you? Mm. So we know you can do it. You've just got to believe yourself to do it when you're out here. That manicness that I have to show to control and keep us safe sometimes is also something that makes people more on edge. I get that, I understand that, but tough. It's unfortunate that I have to exert that control in certain situations, but I have to. Some people may say, well, that's too much for you. Well, honestly, I think we've just explained that you can do these things singularly on their own, but it's a case of putting them together now. It was just a little unfortunate that the route that I picked didn't have any places to stop, so that's why it went on too long. But I actually thought you managed it quite well. Now, do you fancy driving home? Probably not right to the front door. I'll give it a go. Okay. Just your little covey bits, proper mm, like. Covey bit. Okay, sound. But hang on a minute. Have I got pedals? Yeah. Can I steer? Yeah. Could have put it into a different gear if I had to. Can you maybe. park though? I'm just leaving in the middle of the road. That's all right. It's not my car. I get a new one. <laughs> all right. Um, all good. Feel okay? Yeah. Yeah. If you feel as though it's going a bit pear-shaped and you'd rather not put yourself no, into like that. To. You, yeah, good. I think that would be nice. 
but just remember those bits that we've just talked about on how you can maybe make look it feel, up. look up, relax your grip and try I not to... I did catch myself looking down. Yeah, I know. Um, on the left turn that you didn't do brilliantly at the end of last lesson, I asked you where should we be looking and you were just staring <laughs> directly forward rather than around the corner. But you understand that and it's instinct. It's so, yeah. it's so difficult to get away from instinct. But well done, credit to you. Let's get our motor started. Good. Have you got any questions before we go? I don't know the way. Of course I will tell you. Can I just ask you to try and take something off me? The mirror checks before yes, you signal. Yes, mirror checks before I That's signal. That's your task. I can do that. I will help you with the rest. I honestly don't think that if I just left you, although you can do all these pieces, if I left you, you'd be sinking, wouldn't you? You'd be in the deep end without a pair of armbands on. And you'd be drowning, wouldn't you? I think so we'd both be dead. But... You, you need help with it. So at this stage, I'll give you as much help as I can to get you through it, but try and start taking little things off me at a time if you can. All right, ready to go? Yes. Okay, what do you see? Mm -hmm. Nice shot. Right turn please, Aaron. So, well done, yes. Now keep straight, we don't want to turn. Can you see far right and left? Nope. So what do you need to do with your speed? Slowly brake. How do you... Less brake. Um... So, brake and stop, just don't move. Good. Do you want to come across, buddy? Put your handbrake on, Erin. So you were too heavy with the brake and didn't press the clutch soon enough. Yes, so you could hear Gas and bite. Rumbling. Gas and bite now. Gas and bite. Now, little check in your mirror, make sure there's no one around. And just don't move a second, keep your feet as they are. What is he doing? He's just marking out places oh. where the road might be needing fixing or whatever. So is there anyone behind us again? No. Creep now, you did very well. All right, nice job. Clutch down a bit. You're looking forward, Erin, clutch down. Can we see far right and left? Have a look both ways. Both ways. What should we do with the feet now? What should we do with the hands? And where should your eyes go? Good. You're steering too much. You're on the wrong side. Undo a little bit. And that's because you looked forward. Don't look back at that curb and steer away from it. Look at the little dog. That's fine. You're in a good spot on the road. Good. Now do you need to be so far? What should we do with our speed? Speed up. Good. However, we have a left turn at the end and then a left turn at a roundabout. Oh. No, 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 no. Not like that. You don't need to. Let's do this together. So what have you got to do for me? First thing. Good. Do we signal? Okay, Great. Anyway. Can break it. Keep away from this green one. Keep away from the green one. Clutch down, Erin. Less brake pressure. First gear. Gas and bike now. And creep. Both ways, both ways. You need to steer as well, you need to move your hands. What do you reckon? That's very good. We're fine. Don't oh, rush, don't rush. Good. Aaron? Oh my goodness. Don't rush. You don't need to. As soon as you saw the car, you panicked. You don't need to. We can go. We can go. Go smooth. Squeeze your gas. Squeeze. Squeeze. Second gear. Good. Now park somewhere on the left, just in here after the bus stop. So, get a signal left. Good. Hold to the other end of the curve. Clutch down, go slower. Clutch down, go slower. Less brake. Less, 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 less. Stop now. Good. Feet still. Secure your car. Relax. What went on? What happened? I saw the other car come and completely panic. Why though? Why? Do you see where I'm coming from? Yes. And then what happened? What? Everything what went wrong. Yeah, you grabbed your wheel, gonna, you went yeah. too fast. I had to then get involved. And I don't mind getting involved, I really don't. I do. But I don't want to. I know. You to do those things. Yes. And you did the junction brilliantly. You are having a little issue with when to press the clutch down. It, it clutches I don't do it quick enough and it soon to enough. Good. And actually what happens is that the brake's being pressed 
the clutch is still up, so the car's driving forward, and the actual... So what? The clutch is still... The clutch is up, so you're off the clutch and you're pressing your brake. And the car's at idle, and it's actually, the brake is slowing it lower than idle, and the engine's fighting back. That, is that why it makes that, like, yeah. You need to be gentler with the brake. And press when the clutch. When the clutch needs to go down when it's at idle, press it fully, then get slow, yeah. then relax, then first, then creep again. Do you understand? Good. Let's wash the front window as well, it's a bit mucky. Pull towards Erin. Lovely, thank you. Now when it's clear we can drive on again. Okay. So good. Into first. Excellent job. What do you see behind? If we've got to wait for a little, we wait for a little, it doesn't matter. Look at the cars ahead, there's none, so these cars now are gonna go past you. Yeah. Is there anyone after this? This car Mercedes? Like, no, yes. Yes, after the black BMW, is there anyone? No. So when should you blind spot check? After him. So look at ahead. Is he going to go round us? Not yet. After now he should. Now, now check. There's no one behind once again. Yeah. Now check your blind spot. And now we're going slowly away. Good. How far from this one? Move a little further away. What are you doing with your feet? Nothing. Exactly. You, know, you weren't though. You should have been. Now what should we do with the Range Rover parked in? Don't steer away from this. Just back off your gas, we're going to give away. Use your brake, Karen. Use your brake. Use your brake. Clutch down. Not too harsh. It's too harsh. Gentler with it. We're waiting here because this obstruction's on our side. Okay. When it's clear from here, we can go. We might go slowly and let the post office fan out first. Mm -hmm. Set the gas now for me. Good. Find a bite. Check your mirrors. No one's overtaking us. And what should we do with the gas pressure? Steer away from this Range Rover. Second gear, and now we've got a roundabout where we're going to turn right. Aaron. Okay. Okay. okay, so who's behind? What? Yes, you're doing that, aren't you? Good. Now, is there anyone to slow for at the moment? We go round the roundabout. You got to look where we're steering as well. Are we good to go? Yeah. Good. Now, sit back and look over the top of your right mirror and look over there. Just steer. Just steer. Just steer. Just steer. Nothing else. Just steer. Just steer. Good. A little bit of gas. Off we go. Well done. We did need the signal to leave. However, it wasn't massively important. But I just wanted you to concentrate on your steering there. Good. Where should you be trying to look? Up. Your foot still has not changed at all. Now what might I'll need to... There. Yeah, do we need to go? We don't need to no. go over there, do we? Are your hands chilled? Yeah. Well done. You don't need to go over here, Aaron. Do you need to slow for that one or no. is it okay? Okay. You're still a little close to my side. Okay. I'm looking your right mirror at the room that you have with the white line. So you can go and touch more to your side. Nice job. Well done. Eyes all the way up. Remember, far. Just far. Good. Far still. You don't need to worry about the red one. Eyes up the road. You can go a little more now and listen to your engine. What could that do with? Good. That's the first. Better. You must relax that because you battle with it all the time. Now you're going in, you don't need to. What's your road like? Relax your hands and get them level, Erin. And now if you're done with your accelerating, relax the pressure a bit, but not off. Do you understand? Change your foot. Now what you might need to do with your acceleration is use it a little touch. More again. Are you? Yeah. Not enough, because it was slow, wasn't it? Isn't it significantly different uphill compared to downhill? Yeah? Well done, good. You don't need to go in here, Aaron. Come on, stop me having to battle with you to stop steering away. Now, what pressure? Good, good. It's a big difference, isn't it? And when you just keep that pedal, press the same, ruins it. Steer left, just slow. When you're happy with it, look far, drive around the corner. There's a mini roundabout where we're gonna go ahead. No okay. pedals. Now, cover your brake, try not to steer in here. Clutch down, brake a little more now, a bit more, a bit more. Get down slow, don't steer left. Relax the brake, put it in first. Gas and bite and see who's coming. No one's coming at the minute, no one's coming. 
no one's coming, don't rush, straight to accelerating, well done, well done, try not to go left Aaron, relaxed, okay, good, well done, but listen, try not to go left, I'm really trying, you don't need to, just slow, Aaron, just slow, slow down's the key here, not steering left, there you go, it's simple really, if you're slow, isn't it? How far from this car? We need to be a doors width. Good. Another roundabout, less gas. We're going to turn right. What do you do? That, that, yeah, good. Now, we're in second. We have to give way to these. So, is the car's there? Is the car's after the white no. one? So, you might not need to slow anymore. You might just be able to carry on. Good. Got him. Off we go. We, they give way to us. Off you go. Drive. Use your gas, Aaron. A little bit of pressure. Steer. Well done. Nice job. Don't look down and steer away from things. Your hands were too grippy there. All right, now, there is a little bridge a bit further on. I know the one. Try not to steer away from the line and you're looking over the floor and zigzagging again, Erin. Okay. Look up. I'm gonna help you as much as required with this. You do not need to worry. You're steering left, Erin, because you're looking at the speed bumps. No, come on, next left. What do you do? Off all the pedals. Look far, touch your gas and go round the red van and the kerb. I'm going to help you here if we need to. Do not worry, undo your steer. Good. Well done. Now, keep in the middle. Keep in the middle. And just press the horn in there, can you? Good. Keep away to the right, you did really well. Good. Didn't need to help you. Go around the white line and up the road. Don't steer away from the kerb, go around the white line. Less gas, because you were going faster and faster. Third. You have to change your feet. You have yeah. to change your foot position. Now, I think we can go a little more, Erin. You're staring at every speed bump, aren't you? Yes. You don't need to. Drive, Erin. The road's fine. You're steering to the left. Look way past this next speed bump to the corner and beyond. You know where to look. Trust yourself. They're called speed bumps. We're at the correct speed, they will bump. Look far. Far, ignore the speed bumps. It's fine, you actually got that one centered perfectly by looking further. So, little look at this one to line it up. Now ignore it, look far. But you're still going faster. Your foot's in that same spot. It doesn't change enough. Good. So this one stuck out a little, but now look at the next one. Good, it stopped you steering this way because you're not looking down at that line. Now look at the next one. Better, do you see how that works? Because you're looking really close, you zigzag between the white line there and the curb here. Much better, hold on. We turn left up here, don't we? We do, keep going, you don't need to slow. You're fine, Aaron. So it's where that um, was one. just, that yeah, one. that's the one. Keep it going for a bit. What are you doing? Me rather than signal. Go on then. Uh -huh. How much brake? Listen to that clutch. How much brake? You don't need much. Okay. First. Go on then. And then what we do with the pedals? We go back to gas. We go back to bite. And where do we look? Where are you looking? Where yeah. should you be looking? With the uh, bridges. With the bridges. What should we do with the feet? Um, what should you be doing with your feet? But you weren't, you were sort of just keeping it still, but you fixed it, well done. Now what should we be doing with our pressures? Yes. Aaron? Are you? Yeah. Not really enough, you're not increasing, you're just keeping it there. Increasing, increasing, relax it. Now third. Much better, well done, tell you how much gear change you got better. Go on, keep going. Steering left, remember, look up where the cars are parked up at the lights or queuing up at the lights. Fab, excellent positioning. As soon as you look down at that line, you'll come this way down. Look up, you're drifting left a little. When should I start to break, do you think? What do you now? think? Keep going for a bit. Okay. Don't go in. Good, you're backing off that gas, which is always the first thing. Lightly with the brake whenever you think. Ooh. Clutch down, concentrate on the braking. What speed, what gear? First, keep braking, keep braking. Now off the brake, first gear, Aaron. Don't rush, off we go. Straight to accelerating, straight to accelerating, and be ready for the lights to change. Good, we're through. Good, off we 
we go. Let's have a little look both ways. You can carry on. Good. No one's coming the other way, so we're all okay. Is anyone overtaking us? No. They move us away. What we're going to do, we're actually going to park a little touch further up before we get back to mine. Okay. All right, so keep going. Hold on. We're going to get in shortly after the van on the left. Okay. In fact, is there a car? Then there's a car there, so we're not going to park on there. We're going to keep going. We're going to go over the bridge. This is a left turn error. So do we signal? This one? Yeah. Left turn? Yes. Yeah. Don't slow, we don't need to. We don't need to. Because the road bends that way. Oh, okay. I thought it was a straight road. It's not, it's a, it's a junction. Good. Now, what we're going to do is keep away from the curve a little bit. But we are going to turn into... Alright, no, we'll just do a little bit. In fact, no, put a left signal on. We're going to park in here, use brake. Clutch down, brake a bit more. Relax the brake a little. Relax, steer right a touch. Stop. We're just about okay in the middle of the two junctions. Good. Put your handbrake on another click for me, Aaron. Good. Relax your feet. Turn your car off, but press it the three buttons again for me. Relax. Go on then. You tell me. It's still the steering to the left. A little, however. Was I involved as much there as I was first time? No. Nowhere near as much, was I? Good. Was the little thing that I said about the speed bumps useful to you? Yeah. Did that stop you then zigzagging, as I yeah. call it? All right, do you understand that now and why instinctively people do that? Mm hmm Good, well done, nice job. What was your braking like in most situations. Okay. It was, wasn't it? It mm -hmm. was gentler, it was smoother, yeah, less yeah. harsh. Um, what else did we talk about last time we stopped? Signalling. Signalling. How did you Mirrors. do with that? Okay. You're pretty good. I gave you a little prod yeah. at times on what you should be thinking about, but you take these little things from me if you can. And do you notice even the first drive where there were things lacking, although you did well, there were things lacking, then to the second drive, what was the improvement like? What would you say? Quite significant in yeah. most areas? Smoother. Smoother, yeah, less panicked, which was really good. Even the bridge, what happened? Well, no one came, did they? What would have happened if a car had come? I said I was going to help you, but what? If who, so, say if like we're both, obviously because you can't see each other, mm. who would be the one that would have to reverse? You, you wouldn't have to. Generally you can see people before you get to that situation, okay. but as long as you're going to slow down well enough. So that's really all I was going to try and get you to think about, that if a car came, we would have pressed the clutch, used the brake, put it in first, and if we could, catch it, gas and bite and start creeping again. If not, if we have to stop and we're not able to catch it before it rolls back, just stop, put your handbrake on, and then do a hill start to then go. Well done for using the horn as well. Good. Do you understand why we use the horn there? So peaky, tell people you're coming. Good. It doesn't give you that right to go, however it just pre-warns them that you're there. And that's what you should be using the horn for. But honestly, Aaron, proud of you there today. That's a massive step forward, isn't it? Drove home. Um, we're done. Finished. Sorted. Yeah. You're tired? Yeah. Okay, sound. Um, I'm going to cut the video there, but you're driving back to ours. Okay. Yeah. Go on. <laughs>